Hey there, welcome to day 1149 of What Shift You Know. Thinking about this puzzle and that I need to get building it. Then I was doing my morning videos today, which it's really late for me today because I was on baby patrol last night. Or actually, baby patrol this morning, I think from about, uh, I guess I was up at midnight with them and then I got up again at 2 and from 2 to this morning I had baby patrol and then kids got up and went to the doctor and all good, all good. I can actually make my videos in peace now. So what am I thinking about today? A couple of things. One, I am in a 12 month coaching program, which I haven't been in one for a while. I, a, another person's coaching program and had a, a coach. And it's got me thinking about a lot of things. The first of which is my get up and go challenge. I've already committed to doing the free 30 day get up and go challenge again in April. April and then I'm traveling for a couple of weeks, first couple of weeks of May till the middle of May, <clears throat> I'll be gone. So from the end of April to the middle of May, I'm gonna be traveling. And as part of the coaching program, as part of uh, just thinking about and planning out and kind of revamping and changing the way I do things, this may very well be the last time that I do that 30 day program for free. I might roll it into a members area or something, but it, I'm gonna do it one more time because I committed that I would, and I want to test out some new things that I'm learning, some new materials, some tools that are incredibly powerful to help make change automatic and possible and easier for me and everybody else that participates in the challenge. So I haven't decided 100% yet, but I started thinking about it today and thinking, all right, I've done it. This will be the eighth time I've done it. And I just did it because I wanted to make things better during COVID, right? I wanted to know what to do for myself so I would get up and get moving and keep moving. But I also wanted to help a lot of other people with it as well. And in order to help a lot of other people, I think I have to take it to the next level and do something different with it. So I will keep you posted, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, I wanna be open-minded. Our 365 day challenge, do one thing every day that centers you, was about being open-minded today. And that minds are like parachutes. And I think most of us have heard this before, at least if we're in any type of social media or have been on or in a business setting. Minds are like parachutes. They only function when they're open. Yep, heard it a lot, <clears throat> but do you actually know that it's true? Have we actually internalized it and started making our life easier by realizing if we're open-minded and flexible, all the changes and all the challenges that come our way in life are a lot easier to handle than if we're this is the way it has to be. If it's not my way, it's the highway. I hate when things don't go my way. Well, you know what? I think everybody on the planet likes things to go their way, but people that are open-minded and flexible don't get all discombobulated when something happens. You know, you don't plan a picnic and then it rains and you're dead in the water because you have no idea what to do. Or, you know, you're, you're counting on getting a particular job with a certain company out of school or after COVID and it falls through, it doesn't happen. That organization decides, hey, we're not gonna hire a bunch of people here in the office anymore. We're actually gonna close tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of square feet of office space and let people work remotely. And people can take turns coming into the office. They can come into the office periodically, but we found out that, you know, 75% of our overhead costs and our work doesn't have to be done in this location. And I think we're gonna see a lot of that. Well, how do we adapt to that? How do we deal with that? How do we change with the changing times? Because guess what? Times are always changing. They're never gonna stop changing just because we wish they would. So we can make it really hard on ourselves, which is actually what most of us do. Most human beings, me included, make life, make business, make everything so much more difficult than it has to be. And I'm, I'm learning a lot about that in, in this training and this coaching. And it's, it's stuff that I've known all along, right? I don't think I've learned anything massively earth shatteringly new, but it's the time where I'm actually open enough because I've done enough pre-work on myself and on my life to be open to saying, okay, oh my God, I see these patterns in my life. It's a very Tony Robbins-y thing. Uh, which is what it reminds me of. And I've been through, you know, several of Tony's programs. So I guess that's why I, I, I notice the similarities and compare them. But I love the way the gentleman communicates, the, the main coach communicates. And so I am learning from him how to be a better communicator. And that is, I would say, 90% of my personal reason for taking that, this, this coach, taking on this coaching program is so that I can be a better communicator. I know it's an area that I struggle in. Listening and 
it's hard to help people when you don't listen, right? And I think it's just, and I could make excuses, but I know where it came from, but it doesn't make it okay. I'm an adult. I can be mature now. I can let that go. Okay, yeah, that happened. So what? Yeah, that happened. What's next? Yeah, that happened. COVID happened. All right? It sucked, but so what? Are we going to stay there whining and complaining and bitching and moaning and feeling bad for what we've lost? Or are we going to say, all right, I lost that, but guess what? Look at all the things I can gain because of it. If it hadn't happened, I wouldn't have gained all these things. If COVID hadn't happened, I wouldn't have done the Get Up and Go Challenge. And I'm looking at doing the eighth time. Probably more than that, but the eighth 30 plus day one. So would I have done that? Would I have created that content? Would I have shared that information with the world? All the stuff that I've learned over the last 47 years? Probably not. I wouldn't have done it. I would have kept doing what I was doing, which was fun and effective and okay. But it was just kind of okay. It was fine. It was blah. It was going through the motion of, of what other people say you should do, right? Well, I did that my whole life. I did that my whole life. And I didn't, part of why I came online is I didn't want to do that anymore. I want to do what's right for me. So I'm going to take bits and pieces of what worked for other people and create my own thing. I encourage you to do the same. Each and every one of us need to do that. We need to do it the same. We need to figure out what works for us, what feels good for us. Those are the things that are for us. The things that don't feel right for us and don't feel good to us, those are the things that we shouldn't be doing because they're not for us, for our spirit, for our mind, for our body, for our soul, for our, our well-being. They just aren't. So what else is going on? So get up and go challenge, thinking about that, what I want to do with it, uh, doing the coaching program. Uh, my 365 day challenge to get more centered, which fits right in line with becoming a better communicator, understanding what makes me tick, right? That's what the, the centering challenge is all about. What, what's important to me? What makes me tick? And then how do I continue to move and evolve and make progress and grow in who I want to be and become and be an example instead of a warning? I have been both. I have played both mm -hmm. roles. <laughs> an example of some things to do and a warning of what absolutely positively not to do. And guess what? A lot more people have learned from my warnings than my example, which makes me sad, but it's human nature and it's how our brains are wired and work. So today our supersize your business idiom doing a hundred days of Proverbs was Rome wasn't built in a day, which I think is a terrific reminder that we are continuous works in progress. Any project, anything we do, it's just a little bit of who we are and what we're here to do. We're here to experience this life as only we uniquely can. Nobody else can have your life experience. Nobody else can have my life experience. And our purpose is to actually just be ourselves and make the most of that and live our life the way we choose and the way we want to live it. So I think this is a good reminder of that, that good things take time. Everything takes time. Life is a journey. Uh, Slow and steady wins the race is the one my daughter gave me. You know, anything worthwhile takes energy and effort. And we get to decide how much energy and effort we're going to put into anything. And that will, again, in turn, determine how much we get out of anything, right? I always tell my kids that about school. I'm like, all right, you get out of school exactly what you put into it. You can get nothing out of school. You can get through high school in most schools in America. You can get through high school with doing the absolute minimum to get by. And pretty much if you show up, you'll get a diploma. Or you can invest your time, your energy, learn as much as you possibly can from your teachers, you know, study on your own, read on your own, look into things, get curious about topics and learning. And you can get a, an incredible value, an incredible education on all kinds of different subjects, right? And then decide, what do I want to do with my future based on all this incredible things I learned and applied while I was in high school. And you'll have, kids have totally different experiences in high school, right? They either love it or they hate it or somewhere in between. They all have, we all have stories about our, our learning experiences in high school. Some good, some bad, some ugly. But the experience we have is absolutely, totally up to us. It's how much we put into things is exactly how much we get out of it. It's like energy cannot be created or destroyed, right? How much energy we put into something is gonna be the results that come out of that. It's, it's kind of a, a math and science equation when you break it down. So that was our Super Size Your Business Challenge today. What else is going on? I'm doing, and I think I'm gonna stop doing them. I've been doing for about two years other people's challenges and just watching what they do, see what they do. And you know, I've been a ClickFunnels gal for, I don't know, since 2017. So a lot of them are using that. They're using other platforms as well. It doesn't matter. The tech, the details doesn't matter. 
how it's being used, I, I get it. I know how to do it. But again, there's pieces of that that feel icky to me or sleazy or salesy or uh, unethical. And so, and here I just said I might make this my last free challenge. But as a result, I always leave my content up. I can't stand when they say, all right, you can listen to this for till next Wednesday and then we're taking it down forever. And then a month later, they do the exact same challenge. Really? Who are you fooling? It, it's, it's ridiculous. Or they've got evergreen challenges, you know, but, but you can only have it now this 30 day period and then it's gone. Well, that's just because they want you to buy it and do it again and again and again and again, or buy their high ticket program. We get it. We get the formula. It's a great business model. It works if it's the right person for you. I actually signed up for the coaching program I just took after a challenge, a five day challenge. And I, I am studying that one and I signed up for it because it was the right thing at the right time for me, right? And that's the most important thing. But it's easy online to get pulled away in different directions and dis I had to do this, distance ourselves from gurus and other people that we follow. If we are just following them and not doing our own thing, then it's time to stop, put a pause on and say, all right, I've seen enough. We all already have everything we need inside us to create everything we want in our life. We just have to stop chasing other people's dreams and create our own. So I'm going to stop doing that. I, I mean, I haven't seen a variation in a, in a, a new variation to me in a challenge yet. I, I've, I've seen it all. I've done it all even before there was the internet. So it's fun to watch, but I'm like, okay, why am I still watching or participating in other people's challenges? I'm not going to buy their high ticket coaching program. I don't need it. I know how people sell different things at the back end of their challenges. I know how people do their challenges. I know what they say. And I think why I'm doing this one, the, the communication aspect, it's based on emotional, mental communication and confidence. And when you work on those four things, it positively impacts all the areas and aspects of your life. Now I teach and have taught for a long time that there's seven main areas of our life. Learn these from Tony Robbins, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships and contribution. And I still do that. I'll still continue to teach that, but I'm going to add the components of confidence, communication, the words and language we use. Uh, <clears throat> this guy's a total NLP person. He's a total, I, I guarantee he's taken Tony Robbins stuff because he talks and has mannerisms and communicates so much like him. I would be surprised if he hadn't been uh, through his coaching program, through his how to become a coach and certification program. And that's okay. I don't care. I just wanted somebody that I could relate to. I could listen to. I knew I would, that they would break through my shell on the things that still hold me back. We all, until the day we die, will have beliefs and thoughts and feelings and ideas that hold us back from becoming who we truly can become. And I'm ready to bust out of that shell. 2020 was the lockdown year and, you know, going into 2021. And I, and I don't know about most of you, but I am sicker than a dog about it. I'm sick and tired of being closed in, shut down, cut off from other people. And so I'm not going to take it anymore. Right? Remember that? They yell out the window. I can't remember what the beginning was. I'm sure it was a swear word is why I'm forgetting it. Anyway, those are some of the things I'm thinking about and working on today. So I'm getting busy for the next get up and go challenge and deciding what do I want to do with that? How, how do I want to use that going forward? Uh, and then how do I want to make it available to more people? Because it's, it's really great content and great tools. There's at least, well, it's a 30 day challenge. So every day I do, we, we cover at least 30 different tools, many more than that actually throughout the challenge that I pulled out of my toolbox, things that I've used over the years to help me get through some of the biggest challenges that I face and things that I just use now on a continuous basis because they work for me and they make sure that I'm always making progress toward what it is that I want. All right. That's all I have today. Any questions hit me up. Otherwise I will be with you tomorrow.